Hello! In this video, I will show you how to download Scratch 3 app on an Android tablet and also how to prepare it for programming robots made with WeDo 2.0 elements. Now, if you are ready, let's begin. First, we need to download the app. So let's go to the Play Store and let's look for Scratch. Okay, it's right below the ads. That's the first result. Scratch made by Scratch Foundation. Let's select it. And to install it, of course, we need to click Install. Okay, now depending on your internet connection, this process may be faster or slower, but let's be patient. All right, now that the app has finished downloading and is installed, I think it's time we open it and see how it looks like. So let's click Open. Now we are inside the Scratch app and as you can see it is encouraging us to start a new project. Let's do just that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and right now we are inside the Scratch editor. That's where we are going to create all those programs. In the middle, uh, there you can see this green window. This is a tutorial prepared for by Scratch. If you are completely new to this programming software, I highly recommend you to go through it. However, right now, for the purpose of this video, I will close it. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> on the right, we have the stage with the famous Scratch cat. And on the left, it's the most important part because here you can find all the code blocks, all the code blocks that we will use for creating programs. However, as you scroll through those blocks, you will inevitably notice that there are no blocks for programming electronics included in the WeDo 2.0 set. No way to program motors or sensors. Fortunately, there is a quick and easy fix for this. Slide down, scroll down to the very bottom of the Scratch app until you see this blue icon in the bottom left corner of my tablet. This is the way to add an extension to Scratch. Let's click this. Here you can find all sorts of extensions available to Scratch among them, Lego Education We Do 2.0. Select it. Okay. Immediately after selecting this app, uh, this extension, Scratch will ask us to connect. To connect Smart Hub to Scratch. However, before you do this, make sure you check another thing. Notice this smart hub. It has really no way to attach a cable to the tablet, which means that the connection relies on Bluetooth. So make sure that your tablet has Bluetooth enabled. You can do this right here. And as you can see, my Bluetooth is turned off. Now it's turned on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I can actually connect the Smart Hub to Scratch app. To do this, we need to activate the Smart Hub. To activate it and make sure that for this, your Smart Hub has batteries inside, charge once. Uh, to activate Smart Hub, you simply need to press this green button until the light starts flashing. 
Next, click Start Searching and wait for Scratch to connect to your Smart Hub. Now that the connection is established, we can go to the editor and create a simple program to test whether this connection actually works. I am back and right above my head you can see this robotic helicopter and right here you can see a very very simple program in my scratch programming area. If you look a bit further to the left you will also see those green code blocks that are used to program we do 2.0 elements. Also notice this green check mark next to we do 2.0 category. Now this means that the Smart Hub is connected to Scratch and if you click on it you will also be able to disconnect this, this Smart Hub if needed. Now if the connection actually is working once I activate the program you should be able to see this robot working and moving. Let's see if that is really the case. Okay, I think it's safe to say that the connection is working. The connection is established because as you could see the rotors of this helicopter were spinning like crazy. That's good. This means that I can keep on programming in Scratch, keep on developing much more advanced and interesting programs without having to worry about connectivity issues. I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow. I also hope that you will keep on coding, keep on building and having fun with robotics in the nearest future. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll have a great day. Bye!